Well, hello! It is the final day of the Led Zeppelin week. So I have no clue what made me want to do Led Zeppelin videos all week long, but you can't go wrong with Led Zeppelin. So if you want to skip me talking, right here's your link straight to the playing. But we are talking about five perfect Led Zeppelin riffs for beginners. So if you are a beginner, a few things to really pay attention to is what's happening in the riffs. Now there's a lot of left and right hand techniques actually happening. Uh, one of the important things that Jimmy kind of is illustrating is that it's all about the notes that you're not playing sometimes. So it's a space between the notes that's going to give you that groove. Also, there's a lot of palm muting, different ways that you're picking the strings, all kinds of stuff. So it really teaches a whole plethora of techniques that aren't always the most mentioned um, things about learning a riff. And most importantly of all, you're learning some stinking Led Zeppelin riffs. If that's so, I don't mean, I, I say this in a lot of videos, I don't mean if you've never picked up a guitar before, maybe don't start with these riffs. But if you're in the beginning stages of playing, these riffs are not bad. They're going to teach you a lot, um, especially in the areas of rhythm and groove and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump to these riffs. And some of them are, you know, very popular and famous songs, and some of them are maybe a little bit more under under the radar, but still popular. So let's go ahead and get to these. You can get tabs for this lesson as well as lesson packs from the website. All those links are down below for you. Yes, and super quick, if you're interested in the tones at all, basically I'm running from my Les Paul into the rev, and that what I always forget to mention is going into the two notes torpedo live. And let's go ahead and start riffing. <laughs> played there was custard pie this is a really really cool riff it's basically a blue shuffle if you're familiar with it um, if you know how to do that but don't hit your low e string open like i did by mistake uh you pretty much have the riff down but what happens is he does this you know jimmy is all about the rhythm that he's playing so you have your uh a string open and second fret on the d you're gonna play it three times and you shift up and you go to four on the uh d string but your a string's open Notice how I went from four to five on the D, so that A string is there open the whole time. But I'm just kind of shifting through. Okay, now you go to a normal A5, which is open A string, second fret on the D, second fret on the G. Now I go to third fret low E string, and then back to that A. He might hit a little bit more of a chord, but um, you know, that's open to interpretation. At the end of the day, you're, he's hitting this G. So. Now, then he goes to an open D, so I do a D sus 2, which is open D, 2 on the G, and then 3 on the B, and open high. More like a rock version of a D chord. Then he has a little chromatic section here where you're going to do power chord, so it's a D5, so 5 on the A and 7 on the D. You go to, just simply move down a fret, down another fret, you kind of rest for a second. So I do it all in one slide. I pick the first one, and then I do it again, and then you simply go from three to one. So. so 
So on to Misty Mountain Hot. So this one's really cool. And there's a couple different ways you can play it. So I, I did it both ways in the video. I've seen people play it in many different ways. Uh, sometimes it almost sounds like Jimmy is sliding into this first note. So he might be playing on the low E string. So I'm gonna show you both ways. The riff is really simple. It's just uh, like the first way I'm gonna show you is this way. You're gonna play five on the low E string, then three on the low E, then open low E. Then you go to two on the D, and then back to open low E. That's sort of the riff. But you can also play it with an open A string, and third fret low E, then open low E, and then two. For some reason, to me, it just sounds like that lower string is right. So not as open of a sound as that open A string, but who knows. very simple riff and it just has a lot of like rhythm and melody into it so you know there's so much we can learn from it all right on the houses of the holy so um this one's really really cool because these harmony notes that he has so basically it's just starting out with almost like a c chord uh, you're gonna play three on the low e string and then uh was this two on the d and then you go to four on the a string but you keep that two on the d there then it goes open A string and second fret on the D. So now you're gonna have to bar basically like an A major word. So so what I'm doing there is I'm holding down two on the D and G with my pointer finger. So this is basically an A five. So. Now the final part here is I bar everything from the high E string, from the D string to the high E. So. Now I hit those with ups. I'm not real sure which way Jimmy picks it, um, to be honest. Alright, so on to a very staple song and... Uh, as far as the, well, the notes you have to play, probably the easiest, but the challenge is skipping over the string. So we're going to go. So it starts out like this. Two on the low E string, three times. Then you go to four on the D. And I think this is where it gets tricky. We're going to go. Then you go back to two. And then so we have. Okay, and then you do. And there's four after it. So to me, almost like one time through the riff is basically this. Okay, so. So what I'm doing there is I'm hitting an octave. It's two on the low string and four on the D. The challenge is skipping over that A string with our hand. So I go. So on to easily one of the most famous Led Zeppelin riffs and songs is Whole Lotta Love. And there's quite a few different variations of the way that he plays this main riff. So the first one is like this. Kind of real long and spaced out. Now the second one when Robert Plant starts singing is this. We get a third version, which goes like this. Um, but that one always, uh, like the rhythm is like a little bit different. So. So we're just gonna do the main one where you start singing. And um, basically, what you're doing is this: you're gonna play seven on the low string with your ring finger. Then you're gonna go to five on the A. Now the secret to what Jimmy does here though is he bends this A string up, like a, it's like a quarter step or something like that, and you play the D string open with it, so you go. That's a little bit too much of a bend. Right there. It's kind of an ugly note. Now you come up here to your E5, so it's just seven on the A and nine on the D. Then you're gonna mute your low E string three times. Make sure you're not muting the actual chord, just the low E string for now. Okay, so we have. 
do that three times and you come back down here. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed that. Had some fun with all these Led Zeppelin riffs this week. You know, um, Jimmy Page, in my mind, is one of the greatest riff writers ever. Him and John Paul Jones. I know um, John did a lot of those riffs as well. But still, at the end of the day, I love Led Zeppelin. I can listen to him all day. And in fact, I have. So other than that, I will see you all later. And check it out. Two more videos right here. Wait, Nani, to click on them and subscribe. If you could do me a huge favor, smash that subscribe button. Later, guys, and I will see you all later.